I, I guess I met this next fellow through Chris Christopherson, who used to sort of look after him. And uh, he used to live on, as I recall, he used to live on a houseboat out on Old Hickory Lake, did for a long time, and wrote some beautiful, beautiful songs. The American Trilogy, he put that together, and that's been done by so many people. Would you please welcome Mickey Newberry. Bring the guitar. You can, uh... How are you? Welcome to the show. I want, I want to show people... I want to... If I may, I'd like for you to show off the guitar for a moment. Oh, my little, my little guitar. Uh, stand up for a second, will you please? That's beautiful. It, yeah, this uh, it's, is, it looks like it's uh, hand carved. Yeah, this is Swans out on my cabin on the lake. This is the when Susan we moved to Oregon. This is a spiritual awakening. This is a tree of life. 
This is Yanjo here overlooking the guitar strings that I hope will help me write some songs for a few more years. There's a wolf. And that's the Northwest with the fir trees and the lone wolf. And what is the symbolism of the winged horse? Right uh, here. Pegasus? Right here. Well, he's taking me away. He took me away from here and brought me over to here. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't a cab ride been cheaper? Yeah. Well, but it wouldn't have been nearly as much fun. Who, who, who did this for you? A guy named, in Oregon named John. Does John have a last name? Just John. Just John. John, I, if you're watching tonight, I, I admire your work. It's beautiful. Really. Did you see know. my cane that he did? Yes, yes, I did. One night. That's, uh, how long have you had this? This was Chet's guitar. This is one Chet gave me that was the prototype. And I just, uh, I'm working on it. It's not finished yet, but it's... Oh, you mean they're going to add to this? Well, I'm going to cut this hole out and make it black, make this darker and bring all of this out. And I'm going to do some carving up here on the top, some scroll work. And on the back of it, do some inlay. And just whatever I... Whatever, whatever. I might, put, I might put your picture back. Good. Right away, Ralph. What? Chris Christopherson did not introduce me to you. I introduced you to Chris Christopherson. No, no. Roger and Donnie West and myself used to come break your television show up in the early morning hours when Chris was a janitor at Columbia Records. You said You that mean the twice. radio show? The tele tele radio show and the television show. But I... See, I used to talk to... That's Chris's story. He I used didn't to take care of me. I took care I of him. I used to talk to Chris about you, and you were out on the lake and he was always he was always telling me about you so he took care of me and he was and he was yeah he was telling me he he took care how of well do you know chris pretty well do you think he can take care of anybody well, he can't take care of himself i'll tell you something he he had a genuine love for you oh i have a genuine love for him too but he didn't and take I, care of me and i'm trying to re recollect those days because we're talking about a long time ago oh no, no and he would say he would say things like when you get Mickey on the air, be kind to him. Be kind to him. <laughs> you know. so, don't, don't give Mickey a hard time. <laughs> uh, that's, been, that's been a long time ago. Yeah, well, trust me, I, I, I had a hard time before I was 16 years old. I think I can take anything. <laughs> when, did you, when did you put the trilogy together? <clears throat> 68. Did the, when you, uh, you know, uh, you know how this town is. You do things and you, you try them out on your friends. But this was a live show. I did a show with Neil Diamond and uh, at the old uh, Bitter End uh, West in uh, Hollywood. And uh, you just happened to throw this in. I, well, I, actually, what happened was Ralph. I was going to do Dixie, but Dixie had been banned. You remember in Alabama and Georgia. And I said, how the hell can they ban a traditional American song that the President of the United States requested to be performed on the, on, the, on the steps of the White House on the day the Confederacy surrendered? First place, it was written by a man from the North for a Broadway play. Well, a guy from Ohio uh, wrote it. Daniel so, Hammond. yeah. So I, uh, I, you know, I, so I talked to Joan Baez about doing it because she's such a traditionalist. And she misunderstood me because she's thinking in terms of it being a being a, a, a racist uh, kind of a thing, I said, bullcorn, you know? Uh, you know, Bull take, it, ta take it away from them. Uh, I took it away from them. They can't march to it anymore. Let them march to it. They've been listening to the, to the ballads, uh, ballad now. They can't use it. It's no longer their march song. Which president requested this song? Lincoln. He requested they play? He requested they play it the day the Confederacy surrendered. No, and all right. so what happened was, is I went on stage and uh, my wife was sitting with Cass Elliott. You remember Cass Elliott, Mama bless Cass. her heart. And, uh, and she was sitting with Cass and Odetta, the folk singer. And everybody was there, Joan Baez and uh, Tom Smothers and all the old folkies. Uh, 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 and what happened? Well, I went back, I was backstage and I was, I was talking to uh, David Steinberg about wanting to do this version of Dixie. And he said, uh, he said, I think it's great. Well, Paul Kobe walked in and he said, you can't do that in here. He said, this, he said, he said they'll, 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 that'll cause a riot. I said, well, if it does, so be it, you know. So I went out on stage and I, I did about half of my show. 
<clears throat> and I start talking about songs and how songs should be separated from politics. You know, and, and musicians should not, they should only espouse their politics publicly through their music. I mean, who? I mean, I, I'm not a politician. I mean, I, I'm not bright enough to be a politician. I'm a songwriter, and I write music, and I play a guitar. Okay, but can we get? Because I don't have a lot of time for okay. this. Okay. Well, what basically what happened was, is I gave him a long rap about blowing in the wind and about how it had been banned in certain southern cities because of Bob Dylan, and so on. I got them all on my side, and they thought I was going. I said, I'm going to sing a song to you that was just banned in Alabama and Georgia, and they thought that I was going to sing a left wing song. And I started singing Dixie, and uh, they first thought it was a joke. And then Odetta breaks down and starts crying. It was a l an electric moment. So then I put the Battle Hymn Republic and all my trials with it on the spot. So it was written on the spot. Did you do, uh, all right, well, the first time you did it, did you do Dixie first? <coughs> I did. Dixie, that was all I intended to do. I know, but when you did it, you did Dixie first. Oh, yeah. Then you followed it with All My Trials? All My, you no, know, with, the, with, the, Battle with, with Battle Hymn Republic, because that was the song of the North. Okay. And then All My Trials was a, was a Jamaican slave song. So it was the pulling together of three factions. I understand the that, South but the first North. time you did it, you did not do it as it was done on the record. I did it exactly as it was done on the record. In fact, I left there and I went straight into the studio. See, I, I thought all my trials was done first. No, no. On the, on the record? No, no. There's Dixie, then Battle Him, and then all my all trials. All my trials. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now you've cut me out of one of my songs no, telling that story, huh? No, I have this portion of <laughs> easy. And Chris, if you're watching, I'm being nice to him. Yeah, Chris fell this, down the, ho the, the this, hole of my boat, you know. This portion of Nashville now is brought to you by Alaska Seafood. Far and away, the world's finest. <laughs> oh, I wish I was in the land of God. Old times, they are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. Oh, I wish I was in Dixie. Way. Land. That's where I was born Early on one frosty morning Look away, look away Look away, Dixieland Glory, glory Soon. 